Hey, oh, the guns, dude. I've been working out every day. Here's the thing. Here's okay. Tell me if you agree or disagree with this. If you told me I need to like get up out of my chair and like a package is at my door that's gonna like make my fucking day great, I don't give a fuck. It could be the greatest package ever. This package could have a girlfriend in it. It could be like a PS5, iPhone combined all into one Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing, League of Legends Challenger, Radiant and Valorant. It could have like the whole package and I would still sit in my chair and I wouldn't go, okay? The only hope for me getting into shape is to just do the bare minimum. So you got some fucking hulks out there like Tyler 1 and Doanel. I just can't compete. I'm a fucking twig. I'm an absolute lazy slut. All I can do is I'll wake up and I'll do five push-ups. That's what I told myself. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, uh. And I believe because it's the small things that we do every day that lead to something greater. You want those moments again? Those little, uh, uh. and then I was like, hey, stop jerking off up there. And I'm like, I'm not jerking off, mom. I'm fucking getting big. Oh, that sounds really bad. I'm, I mean, I'm getting in shape, mom. And that's why, guys, we need to become a big streamer because we are going to get kicked out of this house real soon. We got to get those numbers up because our, our mom's patience is wearing thin. Are you guys ready for the 1v9? I'm about to do some criminal things this game. I'm gonna show you why I am built different. I might be built like a goddamn twig, but in this game, I have a fucking Greek god body, unbeatable nightmare fuel levels, god Felios gameplay. I'm gonna let you in the inner mind of the future rank one Felios in the world, okay? All right, guys. So you walk into lane and you're against the new OP champion and you're getting fucking long dicked. Pantheon's looking at you funny and you have a movement support. At least he has a good getup. He's, he's looking a little bit tough. I like that. When he gets hit on the head by Pantheon, he's going to need that helmet. So I'm glad he's prepared. So Moomoo is going to be looking for the uh, level two cheese. However, he's a little bit scared. Ugh. Just go for your fucking hook, pussy. I'm going for taking two, pass and go kind of angle. You know what I'm saying, guys? Watch this. Oh, she's so fast. I mean, guys, listen, I've told this story before on this channel, but I'm gonna have to say it again. I'm about to get real with you guys. It was a long, long time ago. Back in season five, when I first hit high low, I played Vayne against Sneaky and the whole game, my support was flaming me. Every single missed farm, me a ping. And I was like, oh. I was so scared. My support was Challenger and he's telling me I'm missing all the farm. And so then I'm thinking in my head, my goddamn anxiety is kicking in. He's like, oh my God, how the fuck do I last hit a minion? This is so difficult. But like my anxiety just kicked into full fucking gear. I'm in a fucking hook. So then um, I'm shaking every time I'm like last hitting and I can't fight. I can't click. I'm trying to make like the legit game saving play. And I'm trying to make the game saving play. I need to flash uh, auto attack sneaky to like stop them from getting Baron, okay? All I have to do is make a play I've made a hundred times in my life. I have to just flash auto attack sneaky and I can save the game. And I'm pretty sure I misclick on a minion. And my Thresh says, you are literally shaking right now. And I'm fucking sweating. You know when you're sweating when you're gaming? The condensation of your sweat is getting stuck in your fucking boxers. And you know it's gonna be a fucking crazy game. And you can't focus because your palms are sweaty. Everything's getting slippery, like that kind of sweat. So I fucking flash auto attack a minion. And Thresh goes, you're literally shaking right now, you fucking pathetic AD carry. And I had a panic attack. I had a literal panic attack. I was like, how does he know? Old Hyel used to go hard, dude. People would like just fucking be at your throat. It's a little bit different these days. Back in the day. Oh, looks like I'm the better player. Nice all. Wow. This is why you can't get excited for your teammates. They just like will always disappoint you. Oh, I actually win that so hard if J4 is not there. I literally win that so fucking hard.
This dude is just posting up with the whole football squad on him. I need to bait this. Because I think Darius is coming. Yeah. Boring. Help, 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 help. Hey, 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 hey. Um, guys? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? That was not 44. There, there is clearly five people there. There is five people though. Yeah, guys, let's just lose the 44. Honestly, you fucking yellow. Let's just keep fighting. Oh. <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. Ooh. <laughs> Look at his face. It doesn't matter if they can't TP or like you can't do anything. The whole point, like the League of Legends community is that we fucking permanently gaslight top laners into just feeling confused as shit all the time. So that like you can always blame them for anything and they'll always argue back because they're fucking idiots. So like you'll actually get a fucking point. Yo, how is this legal by the way? So it doesn't matter if like you're actually right or not. You just need to like gaslight top laners. So like right here. This this is this is grade A gaslight. Yeah, Camille. Don't fucking fuck up next time, buddy. Make that play a little bit faster. And now he he really thinks I'm a fucking freak. He's apologizing for breathing now because he thinks I'm that fucking crazy. Yo, yo, my bad. I should have taken the fucking Uber from top lane to bot lane there, Amumu, to save your fucking dumb ass. Hey, yeah, yeah, my bad, Amumu. I'm fucking working on that. Yo, everyone, ping Felius. Whoa, that's that's a lot of a lot of cha-ching going on here. I'm gonna say that's their fault because I couldn't focus there. Because obviously, if I wasn't getting ping spammed. I've got this fucking team by the cock and balls right now. These guys are scared of this loose cannon Aphelios. Yo, I smell a team fight. I'm kind of down. Let's go, boys. La la la, team fight. Haha, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, that's the wrong ult. Well played, Aphelios. Zach, can you not dive in? Yep, well played, Aphelios. Yo, what's up, Pantheon? You wanna be friends? No! <laughs> yo, yo, you are so insecure. <laughs> no fucking way he flashes there. The enemy team has literally lost their minds. They're all flashing in for nothing. Like, it's emotional gaming at its finest. I mean, I'm down. <laughs> I love how Moon was like genuinely pissed off that we didn't fight the 4v5. He's like, it's a fucking disaster that we didn't fight this 4v5. Like, it's a fucking crime, dude. Uh, hey guys. Oh, nah, bro. Appreciate it, but I'm really not feeling it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, guys, great team fight. A real close one. Wow, I was really on my toes for that one. Holy shit. Oh my god. Nice, guys. Pantheon, please steal this drag. This man. Why are we emotional gaming today? What the fuck is this emo- These flashes are so fucking emotional. Yeah, guys, Kraken Slayer is a balanced item. I promise. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Kill the failure. This is gonna go really well. Oh my god, Amumu end, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, bro. I love diamond players.